so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Me, Blippi. Do you want to draw a mouse with me? Yeah! Mice are so cute. Yeah, they're actually rodents and they're very soft, but you probably don't want to touch them. Unless it's your pet, then you can. <laughs> All right, so to draw a mouse, let's draw an upside down raindrop. So let's start with a point right here. Whoa! There we go. Yeah, that's going to be the mouse's head. Okay, let's do a nice small circle right there and there for their small beady little eyes. And then let's draw a oval. There we go. And that's its body, just like that. And let's draw a circle right here, a circle right there. Yeah, and then those are the mice's hands. And then a small circle down here, small circle right there. And that, yeah, mice's feet. There we go. Perfect. And then what does every mouse have? On its back? Lower? Yeah! A tail! Whoa! Wee! There we go. And then I'm actually gonna make more detailed and go right next to it. Just like that. There we go. Whoa! And then let's actually draw some whiskers with straight, long, curved lines. There we go. Perfect! Whoa! Now that's a cool looking mouse! Then let's take some pink right here, and then there we go, on its snout! Whoa! And mice actually eat a lot of things. Yeah, plant and animal matter. That means it's an omnivore. So let's actually draw a piece of cheese. There we go, an upside down triangle, just like that. And you can draw some circles in it. Whoa! Doesn't that look yummy? I know! And how about on top of its head, right up here. Two small little ears. Yeah, just kidding, they're big. <laughs> yeah, I said small, but they're actually massive. You know, mice have big ears. They could probably hear really well. There we go. Whoa, now is that a cute mouse or is that a cute mouse? <laughs> I know. Wow, if you had a great time drawing a mouse with me and want to draw some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Tabs! That bouncy castle is out of this world! Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here! I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, but, 
But there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Bouncy sand dune! And even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sand castle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sand castle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there! I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you! Ooh, crikey! I don't know my own strength! Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi-mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig! <laughs> dig, 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 Woo! Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sandcastle! You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Blippi.